All right, guys. So we got the Weatherby Orion 20 gauge over under back out. We got a aftermarket choke in it. Let's put it on paper. Stay tuned. We got the Weatherby Orion. Only new addition we have here today. We have the Pattermaster Code Black Turkey 565 installed in the top barrel. What we're going to do is take this ammo right here, the old Apex GT20, ounce and 5 eighths and nines, going 1175. We just put this on paper with the stock full choke provided. It was uh, not good to say the least, but to be expected with stock chokes 90% of the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how it changes adding this 565 Code Black Turkey in this gun. And we're still at 40 yards. We'll put this on paper and we'll see what it does. Let's just get right to it. Let's shoot some targets. All right, Weatherby Orion, Pattermaster Code Black Turkey 565, Apex GT20, three inch, ounce and five eighths, a nine shot of TSS. We're at 40 yards. There's a turkey on paper down there. He's just walking around. Let's give him some hell. You tell me when. You're good. Good? Yep. That looks better. That looks good, but it looks a touch high left, which that's going to really tell us how it's shooting to bead. So we shot. Now it's time to go scribble and uh, see how it looks. So let's get right to it. All right, so that was the Weatherby Orion 20 gauge Pattern Master Code Black Turkey 565 with Apex GT20 ounce and 5 eighths and nines at 40 yards. So let's look at it. It's definitely more condensed than that. I would hope so. But you can see here as I crouch down, you have a ton of shot in the core, which would be right here. And this is kind of what I've seen with the Code Black Turkey and 20 gauges, especially my Stevens, it's very similar to what my Orion just put on paper. Uh, to me, the Code Black Turkey always has a really good core in the 20 gauge, and then it tends to blow open like this. That's why I hunt with the Anaconda Striker 570 in 20 gauges. I think it's a better choke uh, than the Code Black, at least in my eyes. Everyone's different, but this is kind of on point to what we have seen in the 20 gauge. Because you can see most of your pattern is right here. And that would be awesome. But then you have these flyers up here and like a finger. Then you, they fly out to the side. You do have a couple flyers low. But if it was just condensed to just this, it'd be lights out. But to me, I still think the Anaconda Striker, I got to put it in this gun and see how it shoots. It just gives me a better overall pattern than the Code Black Turkey in 20 gauge. This is kind of what, actually it's kind of what I expected because this is what I've seen so far with that 565 Code Black Turkey. It's almost identical to what it does in my Stevens. Did the same thing, the fingers out, really good core. I mean, you do have good leeway here, but I just, I look for a little bit better pattern. I don't, I like this leeway. I don't like the fingers that fly out. That I would like to eliminate. It could be a more efficient pattern. I'm curious to put the Anaconda Striker in there and see what it does. As this sits, I mean, you got a ton in the brain, ton in the spine, it's a dead turkey. Wow, that's hot. That's melting on my finger. It's hot out here. Yeah, it's, it is warmer than I thought. That's literally melting onto my finger. But you can see it's a dead turkey. To a lot of people, this would be an excellent pattern. But to me, I'm really picky. I don't like the fingers outside of that. I really like the core, but the full pattern is less than to be desired in my eyes. Everyone's different. So keep that in mind. This may be perfect for what you want. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as you're killing turkeys ethically, that's all that matters. So that's the second pattern I put on paper. We got the stock over there. We got the code black turkey here. I really think that Orion, I'm going to get it to where it's going to be a lights out shooter for duck, geese, and turkey. It's going to be a progress. You, you start to learn what your gun likes, 
what jives, if you will, because it takes all three things, the gun, the choke, and the load to jive together to give you efficient, performing patterns. That's what we want. We are all about the performance here. We got a ton of chokes to put in that gun yet. I'm really excited to dissect it, see what it likes, see what loads, all that fun stuff. That is the beauty of patterning. You start to learn each firearm has its own personality, if you will, what it really likes and what it does not. So that's the fun part to us. We got a ton coming. We got a ton more to film. So as always, smash thumbs up button for your boys. Share this content with all your hunting buddies, all your groups. Get it out there. Let's beat these YouTube algorithms. Get this channel rolling again. We got a 15K giveaway coming up, and we're getting closer. Going to do a whole shot cam giveaway. That's going to be quite the deal. So make sure to share. Make sure to subscribe. Check out the whole turkey pattern series, the whole broadhead test series. We do a lot of things on this channel. It keeps us pretty dang busy, I tell you that. But that's all I'm going to say. Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and as always, we will catch you on the next one. Do you see the wave? Do you see him? He's chilling.